Hello! I would like to introduce you to a new feature of Qt Creator called the QML Performance Monitor. If you run Qt Creator Master, you will see there's a new button, a new mode called Analyze. When you click on the Analyze button, a new toolbar appears. Here you can select between different tools for uh, profiling your application. We are going to use the QML Performance Monitor for Qt Quick applications. For this demo, I'm using the same game, a Quick Application. There is in the toolbar a Start and a Stop button. This functionality is also available through the debug menu under Start Analyzer. As you can see, here you can also choose the tool and start and stop your application. Let's start. Once I click the start button, same game is launched from the QML performance monitor. As you can see from the time display, the performance monitor is already monitoring the output. I can stop the application with the stop button. Please don't close the application itself as so because the data has to be sent to the performance monitor and that is done when the stop button is pressed. There's also an interesting uh, button here which is the analyzer button which enables and disables the collection of data. If you disable it you can still launch the application but no data is collected. At any time I can just start collecting data, use the application normally and stop collecting data. The application is still running but uh, the performance monitor is not collecting any more data. In the output display you can see there's a timeline with five rows and then an outline which summarizes uh, the whole running of the application. The red area indicates the CPU usage. Uh, these lines are uh, the operations done by the application. We can scroll to the area of interest or we can also just click where we are interested in. These five rows describe uh, what operations have been taking place. First row is the painting operations, as you can see. Second row is the compiling of the QML sources. The third row describes creating elements. For example, here, as the beds of the same game are created, a lot of items are instantiated. Then we have the binding evaluations and finally the signal handlers. If you mouse over uh, the different bars, you, you can see a new label that describes what operation is going on, how long does it take, and um, where in the source this is being called. For example, in the bindings, you can see how this binding is evaluated with the code of the binding, the location in the source code, and the duration. If I click on it, the editor sends me to the exact part of the code where the binding was called. For example, um, I can see there's a lot of activity here and we have a lot of bindings evaluated while the beds were created. For example, here you can see this binding was called. This is mostly it. The QML Performance Monitor is still under heavy development, so probably features are going to change in the coming days, but this is some basic functionality I hope you find interesting. Thank you very much.